very simple terms, we are starting to fill in our reservoir, our lake that is created by the dam. So today marks the first day. Tiba Irrigation Dam in Rukenya, Kirinyaga County is now impounding water and soon it will have enough to supplement rice production in Mwea Irrigation Scheme, some 22 kilometers from here. We have been able to secure their, their water uh, supply cycles and we increase their ability and therefore we are sure with this project that that project, the Mwea Scheme, will never experience any more crop loss because of droughts. But for that to happen, the reservoir must be filled with water, creating an artificial lake. That can only happen when the river diversion created during construction is blocked allowing the dam wall to hold back water. Where I am in is called the dam's reservoir. It is where gallons of water will be stored before being laid into the farms. Now, once the closure of the canals and the gate is done, the refilling of the dam will begin. First, the canal is closed. Escalators and bulldozers push and throw rocks into the canal opening. The aim here is to close the coffer dam. The area here. It was constructed in the early stages to retain water and allow builders to dewater the construction area. The closure of the coffer dam allows builders to drain water from the canal, allowing for proper sealing off of the diversion gate. During the construction of this dam, this canal was created to divert the river. It's a very important exercise during the dam construction. But now the gate has to be closed. The stop log is very key. Now we see what will happen. Now, yes, they are locking the gate, but something very important here is the Entec Tower, what you are seeing in the picture here. It shows the level of the dam once it reaches, or if the water in the reservoir reaches that height, then they start releasing uh, the water, but in a controlled manner back to the river. So as you can see, that is what we call the stop log. As it's being lowered into the gate, it's what will block the water from flowing through the control gate. There, that is a gate. Once the log hits the floor there, then water will be stopped. Now with the help of the crane, the log, which has been called the stop log, is being lowered into the control gate. And once it hits the base, then it will block all the water from moving through the dam wall. That is what is happening now. So today marks the first day. We are going to close the river for a number of days. There will be no flow on the downstream part of the river because our uh, intake point is a bit uh, higher uh, from the level of the river. So we require about seven days to get to the uh, abstraction point of our intake. For, for that period, there will be no water, but 
Of course, there are other rivers that join this river just immediately downstream. And uh, we, of course, hope uh, within the next seven days, we'll have resumed the normal river flows. Uh, what you are seeing now, we've been able to block the river uh, so that we uh, install our stop lock, which means we've closed our diversion system. When we blocked the river, of course, the flow uh, started, uh, the impoundment started rather. So that is the creation of the lake. And that's why we are able to see now the small lake forming. Eventually, as the levels get higher, the lake will be, the area covered by water will be larger. Uh, up until we get to the intake tower, and then we resume the, the normal reservoir water, uh, flows in the river. So for us to fill the rest of the part, we'll be controlling the amount of water we are releasing. And this being the first, uh, what do we call it, the first uh, uh, action uh, by water on this em embankment, we intend to do this gradually while we are taking readings from the measurements instruments we have in the embankment, just to make sure that we are safe and we are sure. So the initial impoundment is usually controlled. Well, a few minutes after the control gate was closed, I ran here and as you can see, water is flowing back into the reservoir area. Now, that is how water is impounded by the dam. It is very fulfilling and also today marks a great day in history as one of the largest dams in Kenya has started the uh, filling. Now I'm walking on top of the dam crest which is the upper part of the dam wall some 40 meters above the ground. Now the dam wall which is one kilometer long is what will be holding back some 15 million cubic meters of water and harvest it for irrigation. Now this is the reservoir. This is where 15 million cubic meters of water will be stored. The whole essence is to double up irrigation in Mwea irrigation scheme. And that will be the game changer as far as rice farming is concerned. The goal is that this water will help the farmers one, to have two production uh, cycles a year, and then two, we are also intending to expand the area of irrigation by another 2,000 hectares. Which is a big plus in terms of food security and economically also very good because you can ask yourself what has been happening with that uh, production, that, uh, that ended production that we are going to get. We haven't been importing. It means we won't import that anymore we will produce it here locally. And of course that means good for the economy, it means good for more jobs which are being created. It Mwea Irrigation Scheme produces 80,000 out of the 120,000 metric tons of rice produced in the country. And now there is hope for even more. Our focus now as the National Irrigation Authority is to carry out water management. Yes, now we have the water, but now we also need to manage it so that the farmers are able to benefit from it. Of course, you can have the water and if you are not careful, you can, uh, you, you, you can uh, have it wasted. So when I say water management is to ensure that every drop that is a, a compounded here, it's used for the right purpose and that is for the rice production among other agricultural productions within this city. The construction of this dam by the National Irrigation Authority has been done through a cooperation between the Kenyan government and the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. You can see from the faces of everyone, everyone is happy. There's a reason for that because if you've interacted with Japanese uh, um, products, there's one thing that we put emphasis on, quality. So this dam has been done to standard under the uh, guidance of Nippon Koei, which is a Japanese company, which was the consultant in this, pro this project. 
So the quality that has come out of this project, also we have to appreciate the contractor which has done, done a fantastic work to produce this quality. So what makes me happy is that this has come to what it is today, completion. But at the same time, it has not been compromised in terms of quality. Yeah, we see a quality work that has been produced out of all this cooperation we've had in this project. The commissioning of this dam by the president is expected once the water level in the reservoir hits the top of the intake tower. My name is Enoxicolia and I am the Kenyan historian.